Good afternoon and welcome to another webinar. My name is Dr. Ken Stewart and I'll be your presenter for today. So let's get started. The topic for today is My Chart 101. My Chart 101. Beaver Medical Group recently moved to a new platform, My Chart. This platform will offer you, the patient, the opportunity to better communicate with your healthcare team. This webinar will walk you through my chart, starting with the home page. So you should have gotten your username or password already, or would have created username and password. You just type it in, sign in, and this is your welcome page. This is your home page. At the top bar here provides you with your name. It may have a picture of you here. So in the event that you're lost, you can always click your picture or your name, and this brings you back to your home page. Moving on from your picture, you have your health folder, which provides you with plan of care, test results, health summary, current health issues, medications, allergies, and so on and so forth. Also, who accessed my record in the past or yesterday. Then you can also look at visits, appointments and visits, upcoming tests and procedures, if you want to schedule an appointment, your messaging, who you want to talk to, if you want to request a prescription refill, request a referral, billing, resources, and your profile. So let's go back to visits. You can, for your appointments and visits, you can just click here. Let me just, let me just do that. Click. And then it shows you your upcoming appointment, the 24th or the 25th. Past visits are down here. Now, if you want to schedule an appointment, you can just click Schedule an Appointment. But we'll do that in a couple minutes. Go back to the home page. Messaging. You go to Message Center. These are all the messages that you have received. This is like your inbox or your, your email inbox or your inbox for your medical communication or your medical chart. And then the medical chart has your inbox where you have sent messages. And this is where you have received messages. And in your received messages, it provides you with a message from your doctor. Thank you for letting us care for you. And you can reply if you want. Go back to the home page. Billing, account summary, provides you with an example here. If you want to pay your bill, just click here payment history and then you can pay your bill here. Resources, medical library, your profile. Now if you go to your right it shows you quick links so instead of going through that process of going to visits clicking here and going to or schedule an appointment going here you can just do that via quick links. Schedule an appointment. Now when you schedule an appointment, you are asked which provider you would like to see. Do you like to schedule an appointment to see the provider you've seen before? These are your options here. Or if you want to see a new provider, 
you can start the process here by requesting an appointment. Because I believe once you do that, it will ask you where? Beaumont. Who do you want to see? Nicholas, your PA. Your preferred dates can be within a week or within the week of the 27th to the 31st. You could just choose all available times. The reason, you type in your reason, and then you send the request. Your appointment request message has been sent. And then they will respond to you. Go back to one. They respond to you with your message right here to let you know an appointment has been made and your appointment um or or when 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 your appointment is coming up it lets you know or it will alert you of your next appointment if you want to view your test results just click test results and you just go to your test result you don't have to go through the process here you can just go go to the quick links and it'll show you your test results go back to your home page Let's say you want to refill your medication. Request refills. You'll want to request the third option. Just click it. And you're thinking, you know, this medication is almost done. I want to refill that too. Just click which one you want to refill. Press next. These are two options. The next question is, how would you like to receive your medication? The only option is pharmacy. So the question is, you have to now select a pharmacy. You can select the one closest to you or another one, and then you press next. And then it kind of gives you a review. These are the two medications you want to refill. This is the pharmacy you're going to pick it up at. And you just press submit. And it lets you know this refill has been sent to your doctor's office for approval before the pharmacy can fill it. Go back to your home page or go back to your picture. Let's say you want to view your billing summary. I think we did that briefly. Just go here. Let's go back to home page. And so basically in this middle section gives you a snapshot of what needs to be reviewed. Some new test results came in. You can just click that. It shows you your test results. You have 20 messages. You can just click that. You see your messages. If you have reminders, it reminds you what you need to do. You have letters. It tells you what letters came in. You can just review it. And these are your letters. This is a referral letter. Once you finish, you just go back to your home page or your welcome page. And then also you have your after visit summary. So instead of your provider or your nurse giving you after visit summary, you may be able to request it once you're leaving or more than likely it'll be in your file as an after visit summary. If you want to request an appointment, you can do so here. Also, what's new in my chart? You can share your record to with, let's say, your significant other. So at least they will know what's happening with you. And I believe that's it. So play around with this new platform. It's user-friendly. 
it's easy to use easy to use and if you have any questions you can contact your provider by asking a question about my chart or about your chart and you could let's say you have a medical question you can just take a picture of the concern of the image and upload it onto within your app within this whole pro with it was within this whole email um, to be able to send it to your provider and press send all right well thank you for your time and I look forward to connecting with you on another webinar soon. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.